Remember, it's all just communism. From climate change to feminism to Antifa to Black Lives Matter, LBG, GBTQ, Air Force, all this stuff, all it is is different labels on communism. So they can sell it to more aggrieved people. If you want communists to gain power, you have to find aggrieved people and tell them they've been screwed over by the system, and then they'll give you the power to destroy everything. That's what the communists all want. But it all falls under the communist umbrella. But the most damaging portion of that umbrella by a mile, they're the climate change people. Because all communism is based on destruction, right? Everything must be destroyed. Everything must be burned down to ash before we can rebuild. But the climate changers, it's quite literally their platform. You, you know what you're breathing out right now? You're breathing out carbon, perfectly natural. The plants are gonna breathe it in and then produce oxygen. And you know, it's a pretty good system God had set up for us here. But the climate changers, they believe you, what you're breathing out is killing the planet. And since they're part of an anti-human death cult called the climate change death cult anyway, they don't have any qualms about you dying. In fact, they think you probably need to. I've told you this before, one of the very first climate changers, one of the leaders on this stuff, I think this is back in the 50s, he spoke openly that the world had billions too many people and really the appropriate population for the earth would be around 3 billion. Well, we've got about 7 billion now. You remember when I told you these people, if they had their way, would kill more people than Mao, Stalin, and Hitler combined? Well, that's exactly what they would do. Without a moment of hesitation, they would slaughter billions of people on this planet with their policies and they would go to sleep every single night, totally convinced they're the good guys. Gas just hit $5 a gallon, over $5 a gallon. Diesel, all those semis that bring you all your goods, diesel, $5.78 a gallon. And what's wild isn't just that the gas prices are destroying an economy along with the interest rates, along with inflation. The wildest part is these insane climate change death cultists. They're not even trying to fix it. In fact, they're thrilled about it. This person, this person isn't some wingnut hippie on the street corner. This person is the energy secretary. Madam Secretary, at what point does this, these prices, what point do they become unsustainable? And two, ironically, does this push us closer to renewable energy? Yeah, I mean, I think the prices are unsustainable for many people right now. I mean, everyday citizens who are on fixed incomes paying huge amounts of money that they had not anticipated or budgeted for just to get to work, it's, it is unsustainable for many. And unfortunately, there's not a quick fix. However, your point about also accelerating our progress toward clean energy is very, very important. They're not sitting around stressing about gas prices wrecking your quality of life. They're sitting around looking at these gas prices and they're thrilled. All oh, the death, misery and destruction that will come with this recession, they're happy about it. They view it as being simply necessary if we're going to remake the world into this wonderful communist utopia. John Kerry, super uber wealthy John Kerry, he's up there right now at this very moment saying we're going to be completely gas powered car free by 2035. And energy security worry is driving a lot of the thoughts now about, oh, we need more drilling of gas. We need more drilling of this. We need to go back to coal. No, we don't. We absolutely don't. President Biden has made a very significant commitment for the United States to be, first of all, power sector carbon free by 2035. By 2035, to only be producing electric vehicles in the United States, which General Motors and Ford and others manufacturers have bought into. These people aren't looking around right now at your quality of life being destroyed and stressing about it. They're looking around right now and thinking, yes, more. I know that's sick, but look, that's what the communist is. He's an anti-human at his very core. Remember this, remember, it's so wild that right now, Americans are outraged about gas prices, right? And we're, we're all watching this destruction. And somehow we're forgetting in all this 
these people campaigned on what's happening right now. It's not like they're shocked. They told you what they were going to do. Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. No more drilling on federal lands. No more drilling, including offshore. No ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. I guarantee you. We're going to end fossil fuel. What about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yeah. new pipeline infrastructure? Yeah. Yeah. New pipeline. And, and, exactly. and no more, no new fracking. We are going to get rid of fossil fuels. I've argued against uh, any more oil drilling or gas drilling on federal lands. No one's going to build a coal-fired plant again, and we're going to get rid of the ones we have now. Have a transition from the oil industry, yes. Would you be willing to sacrifice some of that growth? even knowing potentially that it could displace thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of blue collar workers in the interest of transitioning to that greener economy? The answer is yeah. Listen to how bold they are. He was asked about hundreds of thousands of American workers. Hey, what if you wreck these people's lives? Are you okay with that? Yes, of course, without a second thought. And so what do they do about all this? They campaigned on it. You just watched it. It's now coming true. People's lives are being wrecked. Now people are getting angry. They're starting to speak out about it. They're starting to say, hey, uh, you tried to do this. You did this on purpose. Now you're wrecking us and you're not helping. So what do they do? They have to do something, right? Well, Gina McCarthy, I think, lays out how the communist thinks pretty well. And so the challenge is now that we're moving from denial to actually just trying to to disengage the public from understanding the values of solar energy, the values of wind energy, the benefits of clean energy. We have to get tighter. We have to get better at communicating. And frankly, the tech companies have to stop allowing specific individuals over and over again to spread disinformation. That's what the fossil fuel companies pay for. That's what folks who make money out of fossil fuels and don't make money and and, and don't care about saving consumers' costs. That's what they do. We have to be smarter than that, and we need the tech companies to really jump in. You see, peasant, the problem isn't that your quality of life is being destroyed. The problem isn't that Democrats are doing it on purpose. The problem is you're allowed to complain about it. You need to shut up, peasant, while, you, while we destroy your life. Why don't you shut up? Hey, hey, big tech, shut this person up. They're complaining about us destroying their life. Shut this person up. These people are monsters, man. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History. Che Guevara, the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.